closed loop coolers, blower style fans, heat sinks the size of a small child. PC enthusiasts have been looking for ways to keep their rigs from turning into little mini ovens, or large ovens as it were, for a very long time. And even people who aren't tech heads have had to fight smartphones, game consoles, or even televisions that get too hot. But while there's plenty of discussion online about how to set up the most effective cooling solution, a question you don't often see asked is, why the heck do our electronics heat up so much in the first place? Okay, well before we dive into the specifics, it's important to understand one of the fundamental laws of the universe that ultimately causes heat generation, not just in computers, but in everything from car engines to light bulbs. I'm talking about the second law of thermodynamics. And while there are a bunch of smart guy sounding ways to state the second law, for the purposes of this video, it's pretty easy to understand. Whenever energy is used, some of it becomes waste heat. Now we could just say that since electronics use energy and therefore generate waste heat, they need to be cooled and end the episode there. I mean, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Lunch break, right? But we're all about viewer satisfaction here at TechWiki, so let's dive a little deeper. If you watched our previous episode about motherboard components, right up here, you'll remember that nearly all electronic circuits feature resistors to limit the flow of current so that the sensitive parts of your system, like your processors and RAM modules, get the correct amount of power, since too much can cause them to function incorrectly or even damage them. And this energy that gets resisted has to go somewhere, so it ends up as heat that needs to be dissipated. And with as many resistors as there are in modern electronics, that heat adds up pretty quickly. But what about the hottest parts of your computer, your central processing unit or CPU, and your graphics processing unit or GPU? Well, processors are made up of millions or even billions of tiny transistors, which switch on and off, you know, zeros and ones, to run programs. And since modern processors run through billions of cycles a second, these transistors can generate lots of heat due to the extra current that they use while you're putting a load on your processor, such as while gaming or video editing or compressing files. The heavier the task you're running, the more of them need to be switching. And this is all happening within a space of a few square centimeters, necessitating those hunks of metal or heat pipe type coolers that come directly into contact with the CPU or GPU package, carrying heat away, usually to a large metal radiator structure to be dissipated into the surrounding air, again, usually by fans. And this is interesting, even if you're only using your computer for things like Facebook and Microsoft Office, you still won't get very far without a cooler, as some current is always running through your processor. This is called leakage, even when it's idle. So seriously, don't try it, unless your goal is to start another one of those weird tech destruction YouTube channels. But if you were starting a tech destruction YouTube channel and you were looking to create a website to promote your channel, you would want to use Squarespace. Squarespace lets you pick from any one of their gorgeous templates and just immediately start building. They've got all kinds of great tools and it's all through a simple web interface. So you just kind of go, yeah, I want like a text box there and I want a gorgeous picture there and I want like a, a, a swipey thing so I could go through some different information there. And you know, whether you're trying to promote your hobby or small business or you run a, you know, a little league bowling team or whatever the case may be, if you need a web presence that is easy to use and affordable, starts at only 12 bucks a month, Squarespace has got you covered. And if you're not super techie, they offer tech support 24 seven via live chat and 
email. And they've got like just tons of great features. They support uh, Apple blog format for news posts. They've got commerce built into every site. Cover pages lets you have a one page online presence in minutes. They've got a logo designer. Boom, it's awesome. So start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today at the link in the video description. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, use offer code TechQuickie to get 10% off on your first purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment with video suggestions, and subscribe! Woo, yeah, do it!